So this summer has been inundated with giant mega movies nonstop, back to back, like blockbuster after blockbuster. But I'm going to take a moment to highlight a couple smaller films that I think, well, one is worth seeing and one you might want to consider. The first is the documentary Three Identical Strangers. And I've been watching a lot of true crime stuff. I've been watching a lot of documentaries, like good inspiring ones and then crazy ones. Three Identical Strangers. You you just have to see it. So, you know, we've seen stories of twins reuniting, like separated birth stories. But have you ever seen a story about triplets who have been separated at birth? And they were separated at a time before there was like a Facebook where you could find each other easily, before, you know, the internet, just before any of that. And they just so happened to find each other. First two of them find each other and then they figure out that there's a third one. And it is just absolutely absurd. And then a whole other plot line unravels that is beyond comprehension if there wasn't if it wasn't for the fact that it was a documentary you wouldn't believe it just i think everyone just should go see the movie or find a way to see the movie like it is absolutely worth checking out it's absurd it's so crazy seeing it's one of those nature nurture things where you're like oh my god even though these kids are you know young adults at the time spent their whole lives apart they are so similar and I, I, I don't want to go too much into it because I do think it's just worth seeing. I've been hearing about it for a long time. I got to see it at a film festival and I was blown away. I think the subject is obviously what carries it. You know, it's, I think it's a fair statement about a lot of the documentaries that come out have come out recently. Won't you be my neighbor? It's like, okay, well, while the documentary itself might not be the most innovative thing, which again, it's a genre that might be a little challenging to innovate in, the subject matter and like the care with which it's told is absolutely fascinating. So Three Identical Strangers, I'm going to give four and a half out of five. Like, please find a way to go see it. So the other movie I've got is called Boundaries. And, you know, a lot of people are on the fence about it. There's a whole controversy with Peter Fonda and tweeting and just kind of ignore that because I don't think it has anything to do with it. And honestly, he is in this movie for like a hot second. So it centers around a single mother named Laura, played by Vera Farmiga, who is such a great actress, but I think, you know, might be underutilized a little bit in this role. She's trying her best. All the, all the actors are like, that is what I will say. This is definitely an actor showpiece. And I don't know if the material actually like necessarily matches up to the caliber of the actors, but I think they certainly make it a more watchable experience. So Vera Farmiga is a single mother. She has a son, Henry, who's played by Louis McDougall, who is in a Monster Calls, which is a movie I constantly tell people to go see, but also to bring tissues to. I think it's on Netflix. It's worth checking out. It's actually by J.A. Bayona, who did uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But anyway, uh, so the two of them, you know, living together and she gets a call from her father, Jack, who's kind of like a miscreant, maybe a little bit bit missing in her life. And he has been kicked out of his retirement home. And so she agrees to drive him to live with her sister. Now, Jack is the best part of this movie because Jack is played by Christopher Plummer. And Christopher Plummer is just such a wonderful actor and he's so watchable and so enjoyable. And you can tell that a lot of the actors signed on to be in this just to kind of like have a good time and make, you know, a fun it's got it's got emotions but like the best parts of it are the kind of silly weird moments uh it's also so and the reason he gets kicked out of his retirement home uh, i should mention is that he was selling pot and so along this road trip he finds ways to sell pot to his friends and his friends just so happen to be played by christopher lloyd from back to the future and peter fonda and you know they're very briefly in it and it's it's enjoyable watching them and you can tell like they are having a lot of fun together whereas poor vera formiga is like forced to be the kind of like wet blanket of the film you know, this might be one to rent. This might not necessarily be a movie you run out to go see. But uh, I think a lot of the family moments ring very true. And so, you know, if that's something you want to work through, but not through your own family, like it might be worth seeing. But I'm only going to give it a two out of five.